In today's video, we'll be looking at multi-bag validation. Suppose let's say you have two forms in the same page and it also has a name field and another form also has a name field. Then in the name attributes of both the input fields, we'll write name. If I show you over here, welcome controller and here welcome.blade.php, then I have here two forms. If you look here, this is the form one and this is the form two. And if I show you over here, here is this input with the name as name. You can see here this name and also another form. We also have name over here and we have this field required. If I submit this, then it is returning me back to the same page. Let me show you that whenever we submit that form, it will take us to this save user. And here we have this request and inside here we have this name required. Okay, so whenever I click on submit, it took me back to the same page, but there is no validation error. Now let us try to show the validation error. Here we'll go in the welcome.blade.php. Let me just copy this from here and go here, add the form and I'll add it over here. And instead of image, I'll say name. Now if I come here and save, then you can see here the name field is required it is working perfectly fine but we'll not only have validation in this form but also in this form too now let me again add the same validation over here and in the next form so here is that form so these two are different forms but both of them have the name attribute field as a name so we have to write error name on both now if i try to save this form not this form okay this form then you can see here it is also showing me the name field is required and here also it is showing me the name field is required but we only want to show the name field is required on this form but not in this form this is the issue that arises whenever we are using the two forms with the same name field and the error bags are here to save us for that you need to go here in the save user request if you are using request then you need to do it differently and if you are using this validate on the controller or request validate then we need to do it in a different way i'll show you both of those if you just go here inside the form request then just search for bag over here error bag and you can see here this is default by default the value of the error bag is default for all the form request or validation request we have to override the value of the error bag and it's given in the documentation as well so i'll go here and just write protected equals to save user now if i again come here and hit and save we are not seeing the error message this is because we haven't shown the error message correctly for that let me just copy this save user and go here in the welcome and as a second parameter we can pass this over here and now if i click on save then it is showing the error message over here but let us not add it over here but add the error message bag over here and now if i come again here and click on save then you can see that the name field is required is only present on the above form but not in this one and whenever we are submitting this form then we can write a separate request for it with a separate error bag name in this way we can easily show the error message as per our error bag now similarly let's say you haven't created a request like this if we go here in the controller then we can also do validation on the controller for that let me remove this one and let me just just import this http request and here i can say here this request validate with bag and the first parameter name is error bag so here i'll say save user and the second parameter is the rules that i need to pass and i'll just copy all the rules from here like this and paste it over here and now if i again come here refresh the page and again click on save then you can see the message over here similarly if you are not using this request instance but this like this you can see this validate with bag the first parameter is the bag name the second parameter is request and third parameter is the rules so in this way also it will work so i hope this video was helpful for you guys thank you for watching have a great day bye